For 16 years, the Orange County Muscle Classic has been one of Southern California's biggest and best regional events and has started the careers of superstars Dennis Newman, Sean Ray, and Denise Lukowski. This time, the talent and potential were out in force once again. Winning the teenage division was a natural bodybuilding sensation from Sacramento, Chris Dim. In high school, he managed to score straight A's while excelling in varsity wrestling and football. This soft-spoken young man is determined to reach his full bodybuilding potential without ever using steroids. Third in the lightweights was Lisa Pataria Futt, a gym owner from San Luis Obispo. Many in the audience were moved to tears by her emotional posing routine, dedicated to her late father and brother. Runner-up Suzanne Fowler had a tougher time than some getting ready for this, her first competition. Her 12-month-old daughter demanded a great deal of her pre-contest time. Like many women, Donna Gilbert found that aerobics alone weren't changing the way her body looked. So with Rachel McClish as an early inspiration, she began training. Since then, this art director from San Jose has won overall titles at the Laguna Beach and Santa Cruz events. Super trainer and Mr. Universe, Charles Glass, has a way with women competitors. His newest protege, Don Crowley, moved up a class to the middleweights this year and won. The Long Beach resident owns a hair salon and will become a grandmother in a few months. The heavyweight and overall winner of the women's division was Chantal Dumier, a professional figure skater originally from Canada. Her background in the ice capades and kayaking set the stage for her exotic look. First I started lifting weights to uh, be stronger at first, to get better in skating. And I fell in love with the sport, so I just kept it up. I don't really want to get too much bigger. It's just a little bit maybe in the legs. I know what I have to work on for the few years coming up. But not too much too big. Keep a good symmetry, look feminine, and I hope that's, uh, that's what they're going to go with. The man with the disappearing weight, Dwayne Lamar. Competing since the age of 15, the Simi Valley resident has amassed titles and placings far too numerous to mention. Although he wasn't in winning condition, his proportions were the talk of the contest. Although he's been mistaken for both Mr. Olympia, Samir Banot, and former pro Mohammed Benaziza, this rich middleweight's real name is Amir Yusufur. He began training after two separate accidents, left him with steel rods in his leg, a plastic bone in his wrist, and nerve damage in his back and biceps. Amir recovered splendidly and is now a personal trainer. Fifth in the light heavyweight was Tavita Ahuleli, the Tongan tough man. This Polynesian powerhouse has been training Amir three years and was a middleweight in this contest the year before. His serious training didn't start until he returned from his tour of duty as a Marine in Operation Desert Storm. But already he's being spoken of as having some of the best potential of California's muscle beef. Tavita is gaining mass and plans to add a full 25 pounds by next year's Amateur Grand Prix. Fourth was Slobodan Luteka, a Yugoslav following in professional Milo Sarchev's footsteps. Don't be surprised if you suddenly see this guy in a pro lineup too. Somehow these European bodybuilders have a funny way of circumventing the brutal American qualifiers, turn pro, and go nowhere. In third was Herschel Johnson, who traveled all the way from Houston to compete in the Orange County. The former Golden Gloves boxer and college baseball star was the overall winner of last year's Lee Labrada's annual Muscle Beach Contest. When Randy Heim won the overall Los Angeles championship and placed fifth at the Nationals in 1989, he was the great white hope of L.A. bodybuilding. Then he disappeared. He's back now, working as an x-ray technician and carrying almost 190 pounds at 5'3". Randy now devotes as much time to religion and his son Justin as he used to spend in the gym. I try to spend some time with my son, spend some time with him getting closer to God. It became more of a spiritual thing, more want to get closer with my relationship with the Lord. I took some time with that. And uh, I, I guess you could say I found myself. And then I knew I was ready to get back into it again. But until then, I needed to do these particular things first. Up from fourth place last year to first place this time was Henrik Tomasian, a train show coordinator from Glendale. He's just another example of the tremendous muscle definition in the amateurs that used to be strictly for the pros. Eight years ago, his enthusiastic teenage friends encouraged him to start training with them. But only Henrik stuck with it. 
When I was back in high school, uh, my friend and I would go down to the gym and you know start working out and stuff, and I liked it a lot and got hooked to it and stayed with it. I liked it a lot. I just liked the feeling and uh, the way it looked. Heavyweight winner Greg Korn began training after seeing the response his bodybuilder older brother was getting from the women. Well, five years later, he now dwarfs his older brother, Muscle Magazine host Rod Steele, at an off-season body weight of 270 pounds. This is just the second show for the dashing 24-year-old who recently made the move south from Northern California to pursue his bodybuilding dream in Muscle Beach. Yeah, the big move. Um, just about two months ago before the before the show, so I decided to come down before the show, train for the show. It was a hard decision, a very hard decision to come down. Um, you know, I had to leave my longtime girlfriend of seven years, so that was hard. But I had to do it. So, and I came down here and trained, and um, we'll just take it from there and we'll see what happens. The overall pose down saw heavyweight Greg Korn concede victory to the more ripped white heavy Henrik Damasia. A sad footnote. It was in this same auditorium at Anaheim High School where promoter Mike Glass first held this event in 1978. As it grew, the Orange County moved to larger locations, like Disneyland and Not Fairy Farm. Well, after 15 years, Mike Glass will pass on the Orange County next year, and instead will start promoting a major natural event. He told us that he feels natural events are the future of bodybuilding. We couldn't agree more with Mike, and wish him well with his new contest venture. For Muscle Magazine, I'm Chris Adams. Thank you.